Reginald Chance, seen here pounding his helmet on an SUV car window, made his first appearance in court Sunday. Defiant as he flipped off reporters in court, he faces charges including gang assault and assault in the first degree and criminal possession of a weapon. His attorney says the charges are too severe. He says his client wasn't even there when Alexi and Leon was pulled out of his car and beaten. And a witness says the bikers went after his wife as well. My client obviously overreacted in smashing the window. But beyond that, he was not a participant, participant in any assault on that victim. Another biker, Robert Sims, seen here trying to open the door to the SUV as it drove away, appeared in court on Saturday and faces some of the same charges. And we're now hearing the story of this biker, Christopher Cruz, who appears to be slowing down in front of the SUV when he was struck, allegedly triggering the mayhem. He defended himself to ABC News yesterday. I think the media is being unfair with me. How so? Because they don't know who I am. They don't know what actually happened. What should we know about you? That I'm a family man of two kids. I have a two-year-old and a six-year-old. I, I try to stay away from trouble as, po as much as po possible. And his attorney weighed in as well. He told CNN Cruz wasn't slowing down, saying, quote, there was no intention on Christopher's part to slow this three-and-a-half-ton vehicle with his motorcycle. He also said Cruz was injured by the SUV driver when he suddenly pulled away. Edwin Miasis was critically injured. His family says he's paralyzed. Now, police are asking for the public's help to identify these two people who they believe were present at the assault, all in an effort to further piece together this puzzle that's far from complete. Another layer is that there was an off-duty police officer who also works undercover on the scene. And there are questions, Carol, about why he didn't report what he saw that assault until four days later. Now, the two bikers that were charged over the weekend, they'll be back in the courts at the end of this week. So the case goes on and on. You know, a lot of people have questions about this undercover officer. Why wouldn't he come forward? Well, we're hearing from sources that perhaps he didn't want to blow his cover. So we're waiting for all of those details to come out. But we do know that internal affairs, they are looking into that.